We want to explore this idea further. The concept is to raise caiman on a farm to actually help their population in the wild. Marcus Cotinha is with Brazil's National Center for Research and Conservation of Reptiles and Amphibians. When you use one, one item of, of biodiversity like the caimans, you have firstly to monitor the environment. And then you have to preserve this environment in order to, uh, to manage the population of caimans, for example. So when you have a look at the population, you actually um, uh, already doing something to, to maintain those population working. Yeah. So uh, this, this is one, one, one way of, of, we call that ranching, when you manage the, the, the population for, for egg harvest, and then you rear the, the, the youngs in, in captivity. Another way of, of doing that is, is what we call harvesting the adults. So you monitor the environment, you monitor the population, and you then decide a number of individuals you can take out, not uh, affecting the productivity of the population. So it's a very uh, good way of preserving the natural environment. So it has a lot to do with conservation. Um, also, there are opportunities for ecotourism which helps a lot local people. And, and so it has uh, three dimensions, the biological, the so social economic, and culture. Walk our audience through this, because I think some might have difficulty understanding how harvesting of animals on a farm can actually help animals in the wild. And it does, doesn't it? Well, certainly, because if you decide to use the land for other purposes, like um, corn or soil beans or cattle or whatever, you actually are transforming the natural environment to, for all the different land uses. Once you use the natural uh, one wildlife species, you have to preserve the environment, mm -hmm. and then you get some benefits from preserving the social benefits, economical benefits, and, and, and also biological, because you have to, to learn about the population, how the population works in order to make good management. Marcus Coutinho, thank you so much for your time. Certainly appreciate it. My pleasure, Mike.